Ferris wheel. I always think of Ferris Bueller, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, great movie. But this is the Ferris wheel spinning and I have a person at position A, B, and C and we want to calculate their apparent weight if they have a mass of 74 kilograms. So let's just, just for fun, let's start off with a person just standing uh, on the ground like this. There's this ground. And if I want to calculate the parent weight, the parent weight, we talked about this before, is the normal force, right? Because if, if you're in an elevator and you're accelerating, you feel heavier, but gravity doesn't change. So if they're just staying there stationary, then the net force in the y direction is equal to n minus mg, and that's zero, so n would be equal to mg. And let's just let's just calculate that. It's 74 kilograms times 9.8, and so I get an apparent weight of putting in my calculator. Um, it's somewhere else, 700. 74, 9.8 times 725. So I'm going to put that over here. 725 newtons, and you can't even see that. Uh, let's just scooch it all up. M equals 74 kilograms weight apparent, 725 newtons. Just as a comparison, so we can compare that later. Now let's go ahead and look at, uh, oh, we, we are going to need one other thing, right? I made this realistic. And remember that the centripetal acceleration, we're going to need that, is V squared over R. I could calculate the velocity at, at all these points. It wouldn't be too hard, right, if I know the radius of the circle. But it's going to be easier to just say omega squared times R. That's the other definition for the circular, the centripetal acceleration. But I don't have omega. I have T. I have the period, and I, and I did that because that's more realistic. If you're looking at a Ferris wheel, you can time how long it takes to go around, and 42 seconds is probably pretty fast, but I don't know, it's, it's a problem, right? It doesn't really matter. So let's find omega if we know that. So omega is delta theta over delta t, but the change in time for one revolution is t, right? That's the period. So once around is two pi radians, the time is 42 seconds, so it's going to be 2 pi, I have to put 24, 2 pi over 42, and that gives me, let's just go ahead and get a number, 2 times pi, 42 divided by, I get 0.14, I get point, 0 0.15 radians per second. Let's put that over here. Omega is 0 0.15. Okay, now we can go back to point A. So we've done just some preliminary work to get ready. Um, let's look at point A. At position A, we have the downward gravitational force. And the seat's still going to push up on the person. Okay, um, And the question is, is it going to push up more or less than gravity? I know that it's going to be less. But if you don't know for sure, it doesn't matter. I'm going to draw a little bit smaller. There's my N. And in this case, uh, I can pick this is my Y axis. That's my X. I don't really care about that. So the F net in the Y direction is going to be equal to N minus MG. And that's going to be equal to M omega squared R. Mass times acceleration. But... It's centripetal acceleration. Where did I put that? I erased it. Okay. Centripetal acceleration means center pointing. So which way is the center of the circle? It's down here, there, up here. The acceleration's down, so it's going to be negative. That's huge right there. So now I want to solve for n. n equals mg minus m omega squared r, uh, and that is equal to m times g minus, oh, that's an omega, omega squared r. Let's put in our numbers, 74, 9.8, minus 0 0.15 squared. And then the radius of the Ferris wheel was 5.4, 5.4, and let's calculate that. Drop, drop. 74, 9.8, 5.4. 
0.15 squared, 5.4 times, minus times. I get 716. So this is um, weight, let's put that as a W. And then I'll put it over here in the upper right. So weight is 725. Weight, apparent weight at A is, what did I just say? 716 newtons. So a little bit lower, you would feel lighter. If you've ever been on a Ferris wheel, when you're up at the top, you feel a little bit lighter. That's what makes it fun. Plus you can kind of see a lot of stuff. You can get a different view of the, the fair. You can take a moment to just sit down and relax. Okay. Now, let's do point C down here. So what's different about point C? Well, down here, the centripetal acceleration is that way, right? So that's up. So the only difference for C is I still have the normal force, I still have the weight, but now the acceleration is in the positive uh, Y direction. And so down here, I could just put that as plus, plus, plus. And let's redo it. And yes, it's going to be bigger because the normal force is going to have to be bigger than the gravitational force in order to make it accelerate up. So let's calculate that. Uh, 74, 9.8, 0 0.15 squared. I always can't find the squared button. 5.4 times plus times. Weight C, apparent weight C is 734.9. No, seven, let's say 734. 734 newtons. So heavier, you feel heavier. Now, let's do B. And B is more difficult because I thought it'd be fun. Okay. So at point B, I still have the downward gravitational force. But what's different is the acceleration is this way, in the negative x direction. I can't make this object accelerate in the negative x direction unless I have a force in the negative x direction. Well, I'm going to need to calculate that, but here's my force. Like that. So the normal force is not up in this case. Uh, so if, if, there's station, if the, the seats will swing a little bit, right? So it, it swings so that the seat's still pushing you up. Uh, but we can calculate the magnitude of that, and that will be the magnitude of your apparent weight. Let's do it. Um, I'm going to break this into a component in y and in x. And now I can write my two equations. So in the y direction, f net y, that's going to be equal to ny, which I don't know what it is, minus mg. But I know those two have to add up to 0, because at this point, the acceleration is that way, not up or down. So ny is going to be equal to mg. What about the x component? Well, let's do f net x. f net x is going to be equal to, I have it in the negative x direction. So negative n x equals negative m omega squared r. Well, now I know n x. OK, so if I know n x, I know n y, how do I find n? Well, now we're going to go backwards, right? Instead of finding components of vectors, we're going to take the components and find the magnitude. So n is equal to the length of this hypotenuse. So that's going to be this squared plus that squared, and then take the square root. So it's the square root of n x squared plus n y squared. And that's it. Let's just go ahead and put in our values. So n y is mg. So this is the square root of mg squared. And then plus the square root of m omega squared r quantity squared. Let's put that in. n equals the square root of 70. I'm going to do a little trick just because I'm lazy. OK, so m squared plus m squared. So I can factor out an m squared and then take the square root of it so I get m out here. So I have 74. That way I don't have to write it twice. Square root of 9.8 squared plus omega squared squared. So it's going to be 0 
uh, squared, let's just do it that way, times 5.4, all of that squared, and square rooted. Okay, so this would be a good practice for your, your calculator practice drop. Uh, so I have 74 enter 9.8 squared. Can't find the squared, okay. Then I have 0.15 squared. Then I have 5.4 times that. And then I need to square that again. And then I need to add those two. And then I need to take the square root. And then I need to multiply by 74. And I get weight B, the parent weight, 725. Which is at 7025.2, which is very close to your apparent weight um, in the just standing there, but it's technical a little bit different. So, but it is in between weight A and weight C, and that's good too. Okay, so if you have the lowest weight up here, the highest weight down there, it wouldn't make sense for this to be higher or something like that or lower. It could should be gradually converting from uh, low apparent weight to high apparent weight. So that's something for you to think about the next time you're in a ferris wheel and you're looking at stuff you could think about hey what's happened to my parent weight especially at point b uh, because it's a little tricky which makes it fun the end